What's up with the Pride family? Crazy, witty, relatable comedy. Got our life on your screen. See all our dirt, but we keep it clean. It's the Pride family. Everybody in here got that energy. Happy, sad, in between. Don't forget we got you and you got we. The Pride family. Pride family, Pride, Pride family. Family, Pride, Pride family. Sound like a you problem. Sound like a you problem. Cause it ain't my problem. Cause it ain't my problem. Well, it kind of is my problem. I have to deal with these. I'm not mad at you anymore, but I'm definitely not taking you anywhere else until you're at least 18. What? You know I'm never going to turn 18. Well, you should have thought about that before you ran off and stole money from some little innocent girls. It's just too much going on around here. I can't go with you anywhere. Perdition and Mommy both pregnant? Did I hear my name? Y'all always bringing me up. I hope y'all ready to help me take care of this baby. No, we're not. We didn't sleep with those men. So what? Because you didn't sleep with them. That's still going to be your nephew or niece. Like... And plus, it looked like you don't sleep at all. You got hella bags. Well, maybe you need to stop sleeping so much and maybe you can go get a bag and stop expecting other people to take care of your financial needs. Dang, you just got roasted, Perdition. I wrote a song for you. Listen. <clears throat> she not a savage. This girl smell like cabbage. Boyfriend's never active. Booty extra baggage. Think that she the baddest, but I smell mad fish. I have a serious question. Do you think I can get Predante back if I get rid of this baby? Are you out of your everlasting mind? Are you asking me about an abortion so that you can get back with a bum? He's more than a bum to me, mom. And plus, I don't know if I want to go through with having another baby all over again. I'm old. But you're not too old for them legs to stay close. Sometimes I just like to get weak in the knees. Is that too much? The only thing that's too much right now is my blood pressure rising because you pissing me off. Taquelisha, I know I shouldn't be calling you asking you for advice because you never help, but I just need to vent. I really don't want to have to rent my body out to this baby for nine months. What am I supposed to do? Well, you can start by closing your legs more often throughout the day and stop letting some men rent space up in Well, you. that's definitely not an option. A thought got needs, so what else could I do? Well, if you want to get rid of it, I heard from my sister, Tyresha Kuerisha, that if you punch yourself in the stomach a few times and go pee, the baby will be gone. I'm so ready to get rid of this baby so I can get my body back. I tried punching my stomach. I tried drinking bleach. I almost killed myself trying to get rid of this baby. It must be destiny or something. Ooh, what if I name my daughter Destiny? Nah, that's too basic. Star Daiquiri shit is. Pa, if you don't mind, can you take out the trash for me? Because if we don't, we're going to get roaches. Of course, Ma. I got you. I don't know. I don't know, Prod. What don't you know, Prodison? What? I don't know if you're telling the truth. And I don't know if I can ever trust you again after you lied about being pregnant. I understand the fact that you got trust issues, Prodison. But she ain't lying about that. If we don't take out this trash, we will get roaches. Oh, my gosh. Can you let that go? It was eight months ago. I told you why I did it. Because I felt like I wanted to be more appreciated as a woman. It seems like society doesn't appreciate ladies until they're pregnant. That's a bogus excuse. We appreciate you when you're trustworthy. We appreciate you when your word is valid. And we appreciate you when you are who you say you are. <laughs> mm -mm. Is you laughing or is you crying? Like, what's going on? I'm trying to sleep. Me and my baby trying to get some rest. I just don't know how much more I can take. Nobody believes me in this house anymore. Well, that's your fault. I told you to stop trying to be like me. You ain't have to try to steal my shine. Now, nobody wants to believe you. You know what, Perdisha? You're not helping my situation. So go do like your natural hair and have naps. Well, isn't it the swamp monster calling the Grinch green? Come here, Protestant. Let me explain something to you. You do have to give your mother a second chance. Maybe a third, fourth, fifth chance. So you saying that when people lie to you, you should just trust them anyway? Well, that's not exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that if somebody lies to you and then they come out and tell you the truth, 
Just accept it. But she didn't tell us the truth. We found out because her stomach wasn't getting bloated. You just gotta give her the benefit of the doubt. And even though she did lie about something stupid, we gotta move forward. Hey, come here, Protestant. Me and you need to have a talk. Why does the adults always want to have serious talks with me? What about perdition and pride? Stop worrying about other people so much and get over here. So, in order for us to have a really good connection or start to build one, mother and son, we gotta communicate. Yay! These are the moments that I be living for. Honestly, because you know I love talking. Yeah, a little bit too much sometimes. But anyway, I just want to know how are you feeling about me as a mother? You know I be trying my best, right? I don't know how to answer this question because I don't want to end up getting whooped off of the truth. Oh, I'm not going to whoop you for telling me how you feel unless you get disrespectful with it. Okay, well, how's the nicest way to put this? Um, you don't pay attention to us. You barely cook, unless Pedante's here. That is your father. You shouldn't be calling him by first name basis. You know, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And you always pick Perdition's side, and you try to be like her, and... Okay, okay, this conversation isn't going the way I expected. Can you find something nice to say? I mean, it's hard for me to come up with lies. I'm just giving you the truth. Hey, Jasper, I love you. You don't do nothing but make me happy. That's a lie. He definitely does more than that. He be making me uncomfortable. I was literally just thinking about what y'all gonna do when this baby come, because you never know. My baby might have allergies, and that dog can't be around. Why are you even speaking that into existence? Do you want your baby to have allergies? Last time I checked, you didn't even care about your baby, miss. I want to drink bleach and punch myself in the stomach. I know you think you cool and stuff because you got all them followers on TikTok and ish, but... Insulting a pregnant woman never gives you cool points, so... Well, don't even discuss my cool points, because all of yours are out the window. I could create a list longer than your body count on how foul you are as a person, but instead, I'm just going to mind my business and love on my pet. Now go love on your baby and rub on her, because I'm actually very excited to see her come into this world. Well, if you keep disrespecting her mother, you won't be seeing her at all. Now you know that's a lie! Because you live here, and you're going to need me for something. And plus, I love that baby, so don't destroy that baby's potential great loving future because you want to be a toxic, nasty person. I'm sanctified, glory, holy, righteous, feel baptized. Yes, God. Anointed, appointed, prophesied. Ho, 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 Mess with me and your demons gon' die. Gon' die. They gon' die. Gon' die. I'm sanctified. It's so beautiful to see you take time out of your day to bond with your boys. And especially to do a dance. Because I didn't know you could move. <laughs> well, it's needless to say, there's a lot that you don't know about me, mama. So we doing family dances now and not inviting Perdisha? Okay, when my baby come out, don't be trying to invite my baby into whatever y'all got going oh on. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it when people try to use their babies as a pawn. Like, come on now. That is an entire fact. You can't just be using your baby like a chess piece to get what you want out of life. Watch me do it. I see a lot of women do it every day, <laughs> and I won't be the exception. Perdisha, the only exception to you is showers and soap. Shut up, little boy with the little hands. I bet you when I give birth to my baby, her hands gonna come out bigger than yours. Okay. And I'ma say so, Perdisha is bloated, a man she cannot hold it, like laundry that's unfolded, that's how you shaped, yo. Always wanna eat pussy sweet like some dessert, yeah, dessert, got him going bizarre, he don't do what I want, I'ma kick him to the kizzard, wrong way shit, you just sit back and observe, I'm busy counting money nigga, please don't Uh-uh, because first this baby gave me a fupa, now it got me farting, like, hurry up and get up out of me. Mm, you really be annoying me how clever that little boy is. I'm going to trick him into eating some melatonin gummy so that he can take a long, long nap, because he's making me sick. Ow, girl, stop kicking me. I'm really scared for Perdition to be a mom. She can't even take care of herself. What makes you think she's going to take care of a baby that's not her? Honestly, I feel the same way sometimes, but we just got to have faith in her. Having a baby is a life-changing experience. For real. You definitely got that right. Because when that baby comes in the house, then I'm not going to get as much attention anymore. I mean, you can't always get the same amount of attention throughout your whole life. But that don't mean that we're going to forget about you. That's what they all say. But it's not, though. Anyway, let's change the subject. I like your new phone case. Where'd you get it? Better yet, let me ask, how did you get it? Um... I think mommy is calling me. I'm going upstairs. I'll see you later. Uh-uh. Come back here. Answer my question. Yes, mom. I'm ready for my hand therapy.
Pratt always told me that I got to believe in myself. And I know that I can do that if he can do that. Hey, baby. Why are you down here looking so upset? I'm just taking this moment to cool my temper, Grandma. Because I don't want to go off right now. Protestant just used my card on Amazon to buy some expensive cases. Well, how much did he spend? $150? Oh, no. And he purchased overnight shipping? Wow. I know, right? That's why I'm over here debating if I want to give him an overnight whipping. This little boy be doing too much. It's okay, though, baby. Just maintain your positivity. I know it's hard when people be doing inconsiderate stuff like that. <laughs> What are you doing here? <gasps> it's called an ambulance. So you telling me right now that Protestant just went to the hospital because one of his hands fell off? Yes, I am saying that. And why do you sound so happy about it? That's your little brother. <laughs> well, first of all, I'm happy because he's out of my hair. He can leave me alone. He can stop roasting me. And he always putting his hands on stuff that don't belong to him. Like, so I'm glad one of them little pale things fell off. And you didn't even go to the hospital with him. That is funny. Like, you think that you're such a good mother, but look at what you're doing. Wait, hold up. First of all, I am a really good mother because if I wasn't, you and that bloated belly would be on the street right now. You would have been on the street actually 10 years ago. So don't play with me, Perdisha. I do all that I can for y'all and right now I'm working. I can't get up and go to the hospital with him because we got bills to pay. Are you going to pay any of them? Lady, the only thing I'm going to pay you right now is no mind because I ain't got time for this. I'm about to go drink my pickle juice and eat my whipped cream. I don't even know anymore. Am I a good mother for letting her treat me like this? Or am I a bad mother if I kick her out? Um, Perdisha, I heard how you was just up there talking to your mother, and you know we don't play that. Just because you pregnant don't mean- Hold up, hold up. Just because you old don't mean that you can be telling us young folk what to do. I was speaking to my mother, and let me talk to her. I was not talking to you. Okay, look, I know this pregnancy got you feeling really protected, but that baby is about to drop anytime soon, and you will be shortly after, because when I see you, girl, unpregnant- See, this is the thing with you, old lady. You always feel like you gotta put your hands on people. And you don't. And I just get pregnant again, so you can't touch me. You didn't even have this baby yet. And you talking about getting pregnant again. You know what? I'm about to go have a nice little talk with Prada. I'm sitting in the car waiting for Prada to now. They said the surgery should take about three more hours, maybe. Wait, so you're not in there with him? My baby is probably panicking. See, this is exactly why I knew I should have went instead of you. You just don't be doing anything right. What are you talking about? I'm always trying to make your day better. You dang, dang, wrong child. I'm sorry. I just got into it with perdition. 